the thing I love most about Shuri is I just love seeing a black girl in the STEM, you know, yeah. community. Because, I mean, it was kind of like how I felt when I saw Hidden Figures. Oh, like, wow, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I just love seeing that. What did, what did you think when they approached you and said, this is who you are? Mm -hmm. This is who you're going to be? I was, firstly, I was blown away simply by just the, the sides that I got to do or the audition sides I got, which I can kind of pick up the fact that she was very smart, um, you know, super intelligent, super um, interested in, you know, technology and all of that. So firstly, that was pulling me in because we I hardly see characters like this. Mm -hmm. So that um, allowed me to be interested. So I knew that if I was blessed to play this role, then um, it would mean a lot because it would put something out into the world that would be of inspiration to other other women, other young girls as well. So altogether, it was amazing to find that out. Can I tell you, you steal this movie? Oh man, no! I think everybody did a good job. Baby, no, Letitia, <laughs> you seriously? I was like, I was googling you when oh, I came out of the wow. movie. Like, who is this girl? Oh man, where has she come from? And why am I now just like blowing, like freaking out by oh, her? Oh man, I'm um, just. I I personally think it. Bless you guys for all the amazing like feedback, especially from the premiere as well. But it's just, I'm just super grateful to um to be a part of it with such an amazing cast. I, I feel like, you know, I'm really proud to be with them. But thank you, that was very kind of you. I think we can consider her a Disney princess because she is the wow. princess of Wakanda yes. and this is a Disney movie. So yes. I think we need to say Shuri is a Disney princess. I think a lot of people have been doing that online. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm, hey, hey man, yeah. what can I say? <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. It's just, I'm just gonna make sure I, I'm, I be a humble princess. I don't want a reputation of being a crazy princess. <laughs> <laughs> well, she did give the middle finger. <laughs> She did. She did. That She's so a... cheeky. She did. She did that. And you know mamas have eyes in the back oh, of their head. Oh, God. It's such a, and that's such an Angela Bassett thing, because I know she does it to her kids at home. Like, hey, I saw you. How? How did she see yeah. I was laughing so hard because I think every one of us have had that moment. Yeah, that moment. It's just so, it's so relatable. Like, no matter where you are in the world, um, especially as a, a person, you know, a, a black person, like, it's so something that you know it. You black know mamas it. will get you. Yeah, you just, you're just like, you're in your room and, and they call you. Like, it's like when my mom shouts my name, I'm like, did I wash the dishes? <laughs> Did I take out the trash like I was meant to? Like, something's gone wrong with that. <laughs> right, because yeah. you know by the tone. Yeah, the tone <laughs> says it all. Absolutely. Um, what was it like playing um, opposite of Chadwick? Because you really, like, I, I felt so much chemistry and yeah. so much authenticity between yeah. the two of you guys. Oh, man, it, from the very beginning of, like, doing the auditions, I, I felt really strongly in my spirit that he would be an amazing person to, to play my brother and mm -hmm. to be his sister. And I really just thank God for it because um, it was just, it just came really, really easy um, because he's such a, he's a soul brother. Like <laughs> if you look look at his work. Yes, he is. Jackie Robinson. Uh, Thurgood Marshall, you know, James Brown. James Brown. He's gonna have to play himself in a biopic. Exactly, right? you know, he, he does a lot of, he's great at it. And um, he's a soulful brother, mm -hmm. so I feel, <laughs> soulful brother, so I feel like it came easily for me to connect with him and, and that naturally just happened. Mm -hmm. I naturally have a genuine love and appreciation for him as my big brother. And I look up to him and I respect him so much, even to be the lead of this film yeah. and handle it so well he there's there's characters on 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 both spectrums you know and he's in the middle in the center just just keeping it alive and keeping it balanced and keeping it so well um so so well put together um so yeah like those scenes came re really really easily we just had fun the the we fight scenes were so intense and and i can't even imagine the kind of training you guys had but who do you think who was the most natural fighter on set 
natural fighter done I because uh, obviously with the walking dead she's got t- some some experience kicking butt yeah uh, so she brought that on set as well so naturally she was the one that was really good at fighting as well and also um I would say Chad he does a lot of uh, martial arts and mm-hmm. stuff but different t- different fighting techniques that I see him do on set that I try to copy myself without trying to get her so they I would look at what they're doing and um they would put that into their characters. That's such a little sister thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally, I would do that. Like, I would see him practicing with Ma- with Maurice, his um his trainer, um, and then I would go over to Maurice when they're done and be like, "Can you teach me?" And then I would I would kind of master it a little bit. I'll kind of get good at it, and then I feel like, okay, I got one up on him. Like, I know something that he knows, and it's just naturally wanting to be like her brother. I, I love guess. that. Okay, so we know you're in Infinity War. Yes. What has it been like being on that set versus being on Black Panther set? Man, firstly, they got a whole lot more money to us. <laughs> Um, so it's a, it's huge. You're like craft um, services is yo, bomb. <laughs> no, 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 it, no. We we were good. Like Black Panther was amazing, but it's just because the cast of Infinity War is so big, we and trying everybody. to fit all of those um, the different um, schedules in uh, and and different actors. But I just found that it was amazing to to be with everybody. Um, you know, I'd be like, oh snap, that's. Um, that's so and so, and that's so and so, and that's so. I can't tell you what scenes I'm gonna be in with who. Oh. Um, keep that, keep that for um, for May, um, May the fourth, I think, mm-hmm. um, or whatever it's gonna be out in May. But it was amazing just to be on that set. It's real energy, real vibes, um, good vibes, and yeah, I'm excited for people to see that. So that's crazy. We have a Black Panther movie out, and then in a couple months' time, we have another Marvel movie out. It's just amazing. It's amazing yeah. time, and Wakanda is very strong um, and very. Uh, well, in the trailer, you see them talking about Wakanda. Yeah, like, you see. Like, it's like, like yeah, Wakanda's you see really Denai, at the forefront. You see Chadwick like both with the entire yeah, man. you know Avengers. We, we've we've opened up a lot to these people, so we're just gonna help them out and and help fight some battles, and hopefully it makes the the Marvel universe an even greater place than it already is right now. So because it's... we see Wakanda in Infinity War, and we know you guys are talking about it, you're in it. How many more? Black Panther movies every day. Well, if you guys go out and help us to get um, a great box office breakthrough to the point of breaking it to the point of reaching Star Wars, then we can discuss that further. <laughs> I love you! Because that means I got a job to come back to. <laughs> so let's do that.